Hello everyone, hello, 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 welcome back to Let's Play Blind Dino Crisis 2, I'm the Black Shadow, and after the disaster that was the last video, uh, I have ultimately ended up spending a bit of time off screen, doing some grinding, getting some points, and uh, I guess bringing us up to speed. So, what have I been up to whenever I remember to press the correct button? There we go, well done Shadow. It's like you've never played this game before. What the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, so, um, yeah. Not too happy about how last video went. Uh, we got hold of some progress and points. And then got murdered out left field by dinosaurs. About 40 minutes later, and that having happened twice more. Not lying. I have gone and bought the solid cannon. As well as the chain mine. I just went and grind a load of points. Easily the best room by a million bajillion miles uh, has to be the uh, the pathway. Uh, my mouse isn't appearing, which is very sad. Um, can I make that appear? No. Okay. EP the emulator doesn't wish to uh, cooperate with me. Anyways, but that room there uh, where we find David's mark by a mile is the best place to just grind for points. Even if you get hit, you don't get hit too hard. And it's not too difficult to chain enemies. So, um, yeah. Got a bit of shotgun ammo. We've got the solid cannon, which I'll be using um, once we get through. Um, seeing how this goes, basically. And, of course, the chain mine in order to get through. Chain mine's actually pretty cool. I played around this off screen. Uh, it's actually uh, it's actually pretty sweet. And I think we will be making some use out of this, even against regular enemies. I'll show what I mean here. Let me uh, get over here to some open area. Let me... Um, you didn't see that. Uh, just get so uh, the chain mine basically works. Uh, I don't know if I remembered actually showing this off here quickly. Yes, yeah, so it fires five mounds in the ground, blasting them instantaneously and turning the enemy on its back, which is pretty cool. Effectively stun the enemy, and basically the way it works is if I press the sub weapon uh, thingy, I take a little back step, and then it will fire um, up to five mines, depending if there's space to set all five mines. As you can see here, obviously setting five mines in a line pretty tricky. It's pretty narrow. But you get the idea. So if you can get that all the way off, like that, that's pretty good. That's that's some decent range there. So um, I would so thoroughly, thoroughly um, suggest that this is going to be useful for us. So with all that done, and with David and Co. probably all dead, it's time we move on. Now what I'm going to try and do here in this room, I'm going to try and get down to one dinosaur so we can explore. Oh shit. So we can kind of explore the solid cannon a bit. Oh, it had to be these fuckers that spawned here. <laughs> you sons of bitches. It had to be those fuckers that spawned. Wow. Of course I'm not walking into this with maximum health. Um, so that means I am vulnerable to situations like that occurring. I could have spent 300 points on healing, but whatever. Give me a nicer set of enemies, game. Well. The game saw what I requested and gave me a polite go fuck yourself. That's not bad. You see those chain mines? That's that's quite handy just to put certain enemies in their step and kind of hold them off there. Not inconsequential. Let's uh let's get out of this room. We're done. My plans are showing off so I can exactly in that room. Not a thing. Yeah, so a really good way of just chaining things here I learned is basically just stick on this kind of screen here. Even with just a shotgun, it's not so bad. You kind of like, come over here, let the enemies die. Don't worry about actually chaining enemies. It's all about going here and just killing a load of them without hitting. And basically just camp in this corner. Um, that's all I did, folks. I just camped in this corner, summoned enemies, and murdered them. It worked. Eventually. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in this room anymore. Freaking karate kids over here. Yeah, I, that's what I called you. What are you going to do about it, huh? Punks. 
<laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, good stuff. All right then. Oh shit. <laughs> right. It's about time we start playing around with this solid cannon, shouldn't we? So how does this work? Destroy cells by way of vibration. All right then. Well, at least they're all one direction, so I can actually test this out now, right? Oh shit, this is a terrible car angle. Oh god. Well! I see! Alright, so it fires like a... Like a bolt. Once it contacts, it creates like a, an AOE uh, damage thing, sort of attack, which lasts there for a couple of seconds or so. Not bad. Not bad. You can see certainly the power that's got over the uh, standard shotgun there. I can certainly see ways we may, might use some use out of that. Alright then, sweet. Only thing is, I don't have the most ammo in the world, um, so that's a thing. Uh, Getting extra ammo for the solid cannon, pretty expensive. Not gonna lie. D uh, is that meant to happen? <laughs> we have no map, everyone, due to radio interference, which is fine. Except I think that's a bit of a graphical glitch there on the game. But oh well. Ha! Well, we shall take the large make it. Very nice. I would probably suggest not falling. I have to admit, actually, you know, all right, I know this is being slightly benefited by um, modern day technology, but, you know, for a game that's 20 years old, that doesn't look that terrible. I've seen significantly worse in games more modern than this. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I will uh, give uh, Capcom some uh, some thumbs up there. So yeah, so we have no map. So we've just kind of got to. Uh... uh oh. So you, sir. You wouldn't happen to be the, uh, not that dude. This dude, yes, I thought I'd seen you before. You're the one that's got, like, the really hard armor, don't you? No, yes, that's the one. Uh, strong hair enough. Uh, we know is to attack when they stand on their hind legs. You can shoot their stomach, which seems to be a weak point. Or we can attempt to use the chain mine, seemingly, to flip them on their backs. Oh my god. That did some serious effing damage. Good grief. Oh yes. Chain mine! Chain mine! You see, we do virtually no damage to them with just the standard shotgun. Virtually no damage. Um, like, with, like, into, like, their actual shells, so that's a thing. Oh, hello! Where did you come from? Right, then. How does this work against you dudes? Does it work against you dudes? Yes! Burn, you motherfuckers! Wow, he doesn't even care. Wow, his armor's like protecting him from the. F I guess that makes sense. He's living in like a volcano. I guess that makes some logical sense. Oh, problem. Two handed weapon. Don't have the chain mine. That's a thing. I didn't realize that was, that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Solid cannon. Not a bad weapon against these dudes. I need to get out of here. 
don't have most ammo in the world, so I can't really sit here and uh, have myself a good vor. It's rude. Wow, one solid cannon shot like that does the trick. Nice. Where does this lead? Oh god. To pain, misery, and death. That's where it leads. Right. We need to get out of here. These guys are everywhere, and I do not... I can only fight so many of these guys. That was unlucky. I'm trying to run past him. He didn't really want to cooperate. It must be... Whoa! David's Mark, so he must be around somewhere. Well played, Shadow. Good use of that chain mine. We need to go this way, then. They're just loops around. I guess this is like a shortcut route through to this. I assume I have to go this way. I assume. Mm. <laughs> I just hit him into the fucking lava. Oh, that's good. I prove that that's even a thing. Oh, that's amazing. Another mark there. So this is apparently the way David went. Let's, uh... Oh, God. Let's die, everyone! Hooray! Man, this place is fucking merciless. So, yeah, that was, uh... That was all kinds of brutal, that. I just got, like, chain hit there. Nothing I could do. Couldn't react. And just died. I think, um... I think what's going on here... I think the fact that I'm playing this straight on hard mode is starting to kind of show... In respect that these enemies are, uh... They're starting to hit pretty hard. And it's a problem. It's a, uh, it's a definite problem that needs a solution. Now, the uh, logical solution is that we can buy ourselves an armor vest. And I think I should probably be looking to... Prioritize getting hold of said armor vest. Oh my god. Don't do it. Well, at least that holds them off, so that's not so bad. But yeah, I need to get hold of that armor vest to reduce um, taken damage. That is, I think, the next thing I'm buying. Almost, almost for sure. So let's just uh, rush through here as quickly as we can. We don't need to stay here. I got hold of some decent points anyways. Uh... Found out, as had been suggested, using the flame launcher on, like, those standard dinosaurs. Pretty damn good. Stuns them in place really nicely. Get out of my face. You know what? I want your blood. I want your blood. Fucking game. Like I've got, you know, ammo just to piss away like that, you know? Unbelievable. Ha. Huh. I assume that means I need to go right instead of left. How much, uh, how much ammo do I have for the chain mine? Ten shots? It's not a lot. Let's go the other way. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, man. There's these rocks all over the damn joint. Oh my goodness. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Ah, we found our way through the K system. Nice. Nice. Right then. 
How much points do I have? 24,000. I think that'll do very nicely. Tools. Oh, it's 35,000. God damn it. That shit is expensive, everyone. All right, let's just uh, stock up on some stuff here. I might be able to increase my... Uh, can I increase my chain mine cartridges? I can indeed. Uh... I mean, if I'm going to buy 20, I must well just buy 50 and be done with it. It's so much... It's basically like... There's not much to it. Let's just do it. There we go. That's done, everyone. I don't think we're ever going to need to uh, do much with that again. Uh, Twenty. Po How much is it? 20 points a shot. That's not too bad. What about the uh, this hit? 25 points a shot as well. That's not too bad. But yeah, charging this up, as you can see, not, not cheap. But it can certainly be done. I don't want to spend too crazy. Let's just get 50. Let's double our capacity on that. 100 shots. I think that should be plenty fine. Um, and as for this, I am interested in perhaps upgrade the flame launcher as well. But I think I'll uh, I think I'll let that be for now. That should be fine. Um, and yeah, we got the firewall, which we could have, but that chain mine's pretty damn good. So uh, I think that'll I think that'll do nicely. Uh, before I forget. And because it's not like me to forget things, right? Let's, uh, let's save the game. Because I want to go back in there and explore the rest of those caves. We didn't really explore all of it. I'd very much like to. See what other mischief we can get ourselves up to. Now that I have armaments as well, I can kind of properly defend myself. Like I was saying, I can kind of defend myself. Well, in theory, I can defend myself. In actuality, in practicality, in the actual happening of things, it doesn't always work like that. Okay, so that's an alternate route you can take. It's just like a shortcut. So what was that pathway that we unlocked first up? You know, the route to the right that we never took? <laughs> that is not the way I meant to uh, meant to do that, but okay. Yeah, see, these guys can be chained up not too badly. Not an insignificant amount of points. Oh, it doesn't actually go anywhere. Well, that's a problem. Okay, so there's actually nothing else for us to do. Oh, yeah, this solid cannon on these guys is pretty, pretty beefy. Emmy on this is not... Not always perfect. Oh, you're done? You don't want some more? Are you sure? Now I'm getting all high and cocky and everything. Oh dear. All right then. Let's move on with our lives, shall we? Nice. 9,000 points for our troubles. Very, very good. So yeah, that is potentially a, a quite a nice way to grind a lot of points very quickly. It's not exactly expensive to do that stuff either. So um, yeah. Sonic Cannon... I think, like, on the uh, lesser enemies, probably a bit wasted. But on these sort of really beefy dudes, yeah, that's super nice. Oh, hi. <clears throat> she walks off. Go, Regina. Head towards that control tower. I'll cover you. Great. Ah! Shoot the man, shoot the thing in the face. I guess that works. This must be their nest. I can't handle this by myself. So you throw her a handgun? I'll blast a big one to the place you point to. 
right. Okay, maybe not quite a handgun. We have the signal bullet. Okay, so we have to use this to, like, direct his shots, I guess. Get through this area with the help of your partner covering you. Using the signal bullet armed as your sub-weapon, you'll be able to receive cover from your partner. Did you just see that, like, attack straight into my face with me not being able to react? Did you notice that? Of course, if we want to use the sub-weapon, we unfortunately have no choice but to, uh, no, but to use the hanger, which means we basically can't defend ourselves. Oh, God. Yeah, this is, um, this is a bad place to be fighting this dude. Bad, bad, bad place. Ow. Oh, he's... He is wrecking me right now. Oh, yeah. This is this is a horrible place to fight this sort of thing. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This is, this is bad. This is really, really bad. There's not much you can really do here. I mean, like... What do you do? Well, that works. Nice backup. Your turn. Okay, you better have good aim. Oh, are we changing places? Apparently so. Oh my god. Fuckers. Well, so the signal can, the sonic can at least be used as like a, uh, you know, kind of a preventative measure at least, and kind of hold them off, which isn't terrible. Uh -oh. Jeez. Is it going down this way? Oh, hello. Ah, man, I was late. Very late. Oh, you came up here, did you? Hmm. That's kind of awkward. Goodness gracious. Ah! Ow! Just tank that straight in the back. Using the large kits. Hmm. Gonna ignore how glitchy that looked. That was less your turn now. It's like the me fucking merry-go-round, eh? Of course, this is all worse as, Re as Regina because she c doesn't really have a solid cannon to kind of hold these dudes off. Which is unfortunate. Please let me in. Good job. Let's go. I'm not going to need this anymore. Thanks for the fourth wall breaking, effectively, there. Good job. That was kind of cool. I like it. Nice little feature. But cool gimmick. Yeah, that actually, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be really obnoxious. That actually wasn't that terrible, so. There's a foul stench in the air. The fact you're saying that while looking at Regina is... Uh, I'm not going to. Oh, you're actually following me. My goodness. You dinophile. The Triceratops. Oh, boy. They are herbivores and be found in the outskirts of the sea in the fields. They protect the herds, eggs, and herds. Wait. They protect the herds, eggs, in herds. That is not the greatest English I've ever heard. But then this is a Capcom game from, like, 2000. So I'm not shocked. 
They have a general nature and will not become vicious unless forced to, such as stepping on their eggs. Hmm. A half a year ago, their attack on the city was unstoppable. Unstoppable. Uh, a section of the city was completely destroyed. It seems to remember who harmed them. Ever since then, some of our soldiers have had to pay their lives for it. If you dare fight them, you have already lost the fight. Uh, an angry Triceratops is unstoppable. The only thing that will stop it is an even more angry tri Triceratops. Use heavy firearms, aim for their nose, and get as far away as possible. It's their priority for their social lives. They will not come after you if you lead their territory. All you can do is run. Great. Just great. All right, then. Uh, we need to stock up on some health because that was rather taxing our supplies. Grab a load of medium kits. That'll be fine. Uh, we don't particularly need more ammo. I think we're okay in that respect. Soon. Soon. Right then, I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm actually gonna end the video here. Uh, makes it a slightly shorter one. Um, but, you know, it's not a terrible thing, this kind of game. So, uh, we're gonna leave this one here. So, next time on Let's Play Blind on Crisis 2, while I continue to forget what my, uh, my buttons are, I guess we're had it heading into Edward City, um, Edward City itself. And seeing what is left of this place. Possible spoilers? Probably not much. I'll see you then.